Today, we're gonna check out episodes five and six of Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and we watched three and four as a dub. Kind of liked it. I don't know, just it just sounds right. Like the slang and like the, the way that they talk in the this in Cyber City just sounds better in a dub. But with that said, I still like the sub. Like either one could work for me, you know, the majority of you are like, oh no, this is so horrible. I can't stand this dub, which I don't know why you would think that because I think the dub sounds fine. And the amount of you that actually speaks Japanese as opposed to not speak Japanese, it's, it's, it's probably heavily weighed towards the people that don't. But regardless, we're gonna continue with the dub and I'm excited to see where this goes. So let's jump into it. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Get on the world. Oh, he's gonna get the hands? He got laid. That's what it is. He got some, bro. Ah, that's what I said. Give me some good news. Alright, so this this whole thing is cut out. You guys listen, if you wanna see the my actual reality, if you wanna see like everything, you gotta and I join the Patreon, you know? All right, cut some of that shit out, cause um, yeah, I should have done this with an eye tracker. <laughs> Bro, if I did it with an eye tracker, y'all be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I was just kidding. Like, imagine if I was doing an eye tracker, I'm <laughs> just like, <laughs> that's that's all I can think about. I just like look at it. I was like, imagine if this was an eye tracker. <laughs> that's funny. Whoa. Bro, what are you going through this shit for? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, laid. Oh, who's this? Oh, is that the guy they're talking about? Tanaka? Or the, the other person? Ooh. Ouch. Feeling all right. Well, y'all try to pull a fast one on him. Uh, they're gone. JK took David with him, looks like. Oh, <laughs> shit. Got it. She took your little mans. Yeah. Or he, he took your little mans. Just a little. That's her boy toy. That's her little mans. It's her little mans. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he just stepped in someone, uh, someone else. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Just bodies everywhere. I just woke up in here. Oh, this is a thing. This is a brain thing. Okay. Whew. Damn, this kind of fucking scared me for a second. I was like, oh shit. No way, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm right, right? Yeah, he doesn't have that cybernetic hand. So it can't possibly be him, right? Oh my god, whoever's uh, thinking he's... Yeah, that is a fucking monster. I called it early though. Are you shitting me? No, but you're probably shitting yourself. Haha, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I probably would. That's pretty fucking scary. Oh my, what a gem. Truly one of the best I've seen in a long while. Yeah, he did kind of go off at the start of episode one. You know what? Uh, hold on. I kind of want to know who the um, who the dub uh, voices are, because I kind of have an idea of who that guy is and who he is. I don't listen to a lot of dubs, so yeah. But yeah, I was wrong about David, and can't really tell you. They don't have it listed here. They only have like the main the main people listed. Hey, I'm gonna 
until they're not. Uh oh. That's the max tack. Or never mind, I lied. There's just some drones. I thought it was a helicopter coming around, you know, the max tack thing? I don't know. Zone in! You can do this! Good shit, she got it. Let's go, Lucy! Ooh, mighty impressive show. You motherfucker! It takes real talent to quick act so, uh, quickly. I'm willing to hear you out, but I'd prefer oh. to use both ears. I'd like to apologize for Earth. Sus. Whatever. Kind of surprised. Didn't really expect you to feel right. Our boy's special. It's always been a part of me. Damn. That's cool. Oh, he said he's built different. I'm built different. Do you have any idea who I am? I don't give a fuck who you are. Forget about your panic button. Damn, damn, Tanaka. Sheesh. Oh, he's got the same kung fu movie, a uh, 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 movie, kung fu move ability. It is him. Good call. Flatline. Uh, guys, trauma team's incoming. Say what? This bitch has trauma. Coming? What the fuck? Yep. I wonder if they see the needle, will they know Tanaka's been? Uh, been there? Like he used his ability? Is he like the only one with it? Or other people will have it? I don't know. That was good. Good episode. Next. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this one dubbed or subbed. Let's see what it's like. Go back over to the sub, see what's up with that. I bet people are gonna be mad. Like, why can't you just stick with the dub or the sub? What's this guy running at? Main. Was oh, that main? Whoa, main used to be little. I changed my mind. I want I want it as uh, as English. I actually do think I like the English better. This goddamn boy without trouble ain't about to backtrack now. What the fuck? Kimmy's mid dive can't rush her. You know that. What? Huh? Hey, stop! What are you? Hey! Did we get jumped? No, motherfucker, you did the jumping. My man just naked up on the side. Oh, because he hit that, bro. Okay, I see you, little David. Davy! Davy laying pipe. Easy, man. Next time you start losing it. <laughs> I mean, it is his fault. What? Think I might be losing my grip? Man, I um, yeah, obviously, you motherfucker. Damn, dude. Hey, man, just wait till he dies and then steal his hands like you said you wanted to. Won't do it. Ain't no way I'm gonna start downgrading. Not now. You don't get it. You don't understand. We can't yeah. just leave. We don't understand. Motherfucker's always watching. Always. Well, Maine is kind of fine, whatever. But you losing his shit. Motherfucker gone, bro. Tripping. That man is tripping. Oh, that was Tanaka! Holy fuck, they fucked him up. Plug her into the Matrix. Bro, this is some Matrix shit for real. I'm going in for the kill. I'm doing it for the thrill. Damn, he is definitely glitched out, bro. I like the way that they did this. It looks really glitchy. Fuck is going on here? Oh. Despite that, I was the one who insisted that you be readmitted at once. Demonstrated unique potential. Oh shit! Don't do it, David! Don't do it! Throw it away! You don't need your life! Throw that life away, bro! Better. Psst. Psst. 
Spray his ass. Oop, got him. Oh no, she's gonna think he's a bad guy. Oh my god, no. What happened? Is he dead? Is he alive? You're the one that killed Kiwi, bitch! All this shit on Lucy. Exactly! Bro, snap out of it! Come on, David! What the fuck? Oh shit. Your meds. Don't forget them. Don't oh shit, no. I'm going to help them. No, no, no. Y'all gotta get the fuck out. Oh no, bro, I would leave, bro. I don't I don't think they're gonna make it. I think that's pretty obvious. They ain't gonna make it, man. Oh shit, not trauma. No, oh, you gotta go, bro. You gotta fucking go, bro. Exactly. Mm -mm. She's right, bro. What happened? What did she see about him? Oh, shit. Oh, nah, he's going, he's going crazy. Yeah, he's going crazy. No, Dorio! Oh, it's too late, bro. You really should have dipped it like Lucy said. Is this, is this my fault? I mean, if Kiwi didn't die, you would have been done way sooner and it would have been a cleaner job. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah, he's fucking gone. That's her rip. Yeah, he's done. That is rough. Oh my god. Yeah, he's gone full crazy, dude. And our boy is fucked right now Dario dead she didn't make it huh what are you doing we you going to blow this shit up or we end up like her no more running for me dog reaper's finally calling i like how the subs keep on saying dog instead of dog <laughs> Oh, take his hands. Damn it, stop shaking. Max Tech Freak's coming get us. Just fucking try. Holy shit, he's sweating a lot. He got a sweat drop out of every single pore on his body. What the hell? That's so much sweat. David. Did it freeze? What the fuck? You can't do it. I don't. Why would you? Give the kid your hands. Give him a hand. This is it. It's the end of the line for me. Bro. So ugly, but like beautiful in the ugliness, you know? Does that make sense? 
Like, I think it looks real, like, rough. The animation here looks so rough, but in the roughness, there's a lot of beauty. It looks really nice. Oh, she thinks David dead. David, don't die. Don't worry about that. We'll answer. Took his hands. He's got the hands. Damn, those hands are not going to fit you. Yeah, he was right. Those hands are not going to fit you. This is weird. That was animated really weird. That was animated really weird. The end part, the... the like I said, rough. Really rough. And it's... It's kind of fucking ugly, but due to like, like, let's contextualize it, right? Like what's going down? Like what is actually happening story wise here? And then like, you know, what I mean by that is like losing the people he cares about. And then beyond that, just the way that he's losing, it's like it, it itself is like kind of rough and, and tragic. And it, like this man is literally losing his mind. Maine is losing his mind, kind of killing people off in that are part of the group. And he goes out in an explosion. Like, yeah, it kind of makes sense that it would be rough. You know, I, I, I kind of like it. Like I said, it's rough. It's kind of ugly, but in a way it's beautiful because they chose to go down that route. They're the director. Good choice. Honestly, I would say that was a good choice in making it look that way. So we have not lost Lucy. I thought that we might lose Lucy and that would be a big thing for our boy. And maybe by the end of it, we will. You know, we're only six episodes in. Still got seven, eight, nine, ten, four more episodes. She could die in those four episodes. But in these two episodes specifically, five and six, the group tracks down JK, who is the guy that's been making the, the little things that our boy watches. You know how in episode one, he like wakes up watching the one guy die from the very beginning of the episode. He tracks down JK, who is the person that actually makes the, damn, I don't remember what they're called. The visual thing. I know we literally just watched the episodes and I should remember the BD, right? I think that's what the, the term was, the BD. He's the one that makes the BDs. He's the one that does the edits, right? You feel everything and all of that. So they need to get out access to him in order to get him to cooperate, get Tanaka. Really what they're trying to do is gather data from Tanaka. Tanaka is the father of the kid who our boy, mm, in episode two, which is very satisfying. We didn't really see anything beyond that aside from, you know, Tanaka really like pushing to get the principal to let our boy back into the school. We even see in episode six, them having a conversation. David, Tanaka having a conversation about how Tanaka believes in David in a way. And I think that, I think that very much, just as David mentions, like David's like, I can't just leave my friends like that. And then Tanaka's like, oh, they're using you. And he's like, yeah, but like, wouldn't Arasaka use me too? Like you guys are just using me too. So it's like, what does it really matter? And these people are more like a family than you. I mean, he doesn't say that, but that's really what he's thinking, but he's right. They would just use him too. So well, what's the fucking point? There's no real like difference between being used by people. Well, there is a difference, you know, being used by the people of a corporation versus being used by the people who would consider you family and who would stick their neck out. You think Tanaka would die for David? No, but do you think Maine would? Yes, that's the difference. So I'm glad that he didn't betray them. Though I do think that he could have, he could have dipped out a little earlier with Lucy, just dipped out, but he did end up getting the hands. I don't think he's gonna end up putting the hands on. I don't see that happening. Those are some big ass fucking hands. It's like taking this hand and trying to slap on a, there's nothing really in this room big enough um, to, to represent the difference in size, you know? It's literally like tr like three times the size of his own hand is is the, the main hands. We also saw main earlier through episode six, you know, running on that open airstrip. Kind of look like an airstrip a little bit, but we saw him earlier in his life, earlier in his life, much thinner, much smaller. And that was interesting to see how far he'd gone. Like, because when we saw him thinner, smaller, younger, he didn't have any chrome. You know, he he wasn't like cyber enhanced and stuff. It was, it was, it was really like before all of that to the point where he gets now, where he's starting to get this cyber psychosis, you know, really starting to lose his mind as a result of all of these enhancements that he's got. And, you know, Dorio's like, hey, you, you know, after this, when we're done, we're going to dial it back. You're not going to have as many enhancements. And that way you can like not lose your mind. But he's, you know, he's at that point where he's just, he just wants to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And that means more enhancements and he wasn't really about to have it. He kind of fucks up the whole plan. After they get to Naka, he ends up killing Kiwi accidentally because he's losing his fucking mind. And then Lucy has to take over. Lucy found out something about our boy. She said that Tanaka didn't have any data, but she also found out more about David. Maybe it was the fact that Tanaka wanted David to go to the school. Maybe that's what it was um, because it's it's data that Tanaka's got. And like I said, Tanaka did want to get David back into the school. So maybe he did see the potential there. Maybe there is something she learned about David. But again, 
She didn't find any data on Tanaka. And now their group is down to just, well, I guess not really Falco. That guy's gone because Kiwi died. And yeah, he's not really around. I don't know. Maybe we'll run into Falco later. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Still four episodes. Could happen. But we still got Becca and we still got David and Lucy. Everybody else is gone. We're watching a lot of people die throughout this thing. And that sucks. I'm interested in seeing where this thing goes. You know, how it all plays out. Will he get the hands put in? Maybe not. Are they going to end up going after Giancarlo Esposito's character? Which I would assume they would because he does often tend to play bad guys. And um, I mean, it just would make sense that they would go after him because he, he kind of set everybody up. So from here, let me know what you thought about this one down in the comments below. And let me know what you think about the series so far. Oh, and also, what do you think? Sub, dub, I don't I don't really know. I think I'm actually more partial to the dub. After I switch to the dub from the sub, I think I like it more, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it just fits a little bit better just because of this world. And maybe that is because of me previously having played Cyberpunk, even though I didn't play it all the way through, I'm still more aware of the world and maybe that's why. I don't know, I like it though, I like it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.